God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. What's going on, everybody? Once again, shout out to everybody. Hope your day is going good. And just thank the most high for so much. Just give him all the honor, the glory, and all the praise, y'all. Um, just want to do this little video. I want to talk to the believers. This is video for everybody. But, um, really for the saints. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Um, you know, how, how often has God sent somebody in our lives and we had an opportunity to minister to them, but we was ashamed? You know, and this is me too. I'm not just talking at y'all. I'm talking, I'm just I'm dealing with all of us here. How many times we had, and I'm still working on this too, you know, coming out of it. Okay. No. No. How many of us are scared to live Christ? Like, are we scared to preach Christ, Christ around something because we scared we're gonna lose people? You know, and they not. You know. How many of us? You know, we scared to. I mean, say we, we not really truly. Willing to spread the, the gospel because you know, you know what people might say or what they might think. I'm just dealing with it, y'all. I'm just dealing with it, you know. Cause I know people are dealing with this. Um, you know, even in my life, there were times I probably I had a chance to minister to somebody, but I just didn't. And the opportunity presented itself; it was right there, but I just didn't do it because. What, what that person might think, you know. But y'all, when you look at it, we cannot be scared. We cannot have the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. You know. And this goes both ways. We're not supposed to fear. We, we ain't supposed to fear nobody but the Father. You know. Now. Like I said, we need more believers, man, to start speaking out and start and just start and start going after the lost, man. We need more people to start speaking out, you know. And we can't be ashamed. Like I said, we gotta shake that off. You gonna have to understand. We gotta realize it's gonna be people that's gonna leave us. It's gonna be people that's. That's gonna. It's, it's gonna be some things that's gonna happen. It's gonna be people that's. Probably gonna get talked about. We are gonna be lied on. We are gonna be mistreated. But the thing is, we gotta shake off that shame, man. And we gotta be bold for Christ. And I, don't, you know, I'm still waiting on pretty much some of us still working on. We're still working on this. But we cannot be ashamed. You know what Christ said? Christ said, "If you are ashamed of me, I'm gonna be ashamed of you before the Father." So if you're ashamed of me before men, you know He's gonna be ashamed of you. You know. And I know we don't want that, so we gotta we gotta be bold, man. If we really claiming to be children of of of, uh, of the Most High, of, you know, we have we got to start acting like, it, you know, you know, let's even if you're not ministering, let, let people see the Christ in you, you know, you know that's the whole purpose of being set apart. You know, that's what I've been talking about being set apart. Let people on your job see Christ in you. Like in the grocery store, and, and even on your, if you got unsaved family members, you know, let them see the Christ in you, and let them see the way you act, that you act in Christ like. So the Bible said, "Be oh, what uh, I think Paul said, be ready to always to give um, give an answer for for the hope that's in you." So when people say, "Why are you, oh, you acting this? Why are you act like this? You know, you're not like everybody else." You know, I, I, there's something, I mean, there's something about you. What is it? And that's your opportunity. And some of us, we we miss it. We miss the chance to minister because of oh, what what this person may think. Yeah, you might say something like, oh, oh, you know, I'm just a good person. You know, what it is. no, be straight up with them. Tell them you living for Christ. You walking for Christ. Hey, say, hey, sis, hey, brother. 
you know, you know, it's Christ, it's the Christ within me, I'm a follower of Christ, and I said, you know, you can be a follower of Christ too, if you just ask to repent and ask for forgiveness of your sins, he can save you, he can deliver you, he'll set you free, you know, give you eternal life, you know, he wants you to be delivered, he wants you to come out from this world, you know, you know, something like that. You know, it may not be something like that, but you know, some of us we miss it. And I know a lot of times, like, times I've missed it too. I'm, I'm still working on it. It's just not me. I mean, it's not. I'm, I'm not just don't like I said again. Don't think I'm just talking about you. But I'm talking. It's all of us it's dealing with all of us. How many times we had a chance to minister, witness to somebody? You know, but because of the spirit of fear, we, we. Turn it down. Like I said, we, you know, you know, we we just bypassed it. And I was, we have to understand that there's people out here that are really hurt, man. There's people out here that really need a word from God. And I know it's probably a lot, not a lot of people out there, but you don't you don't realize that a lot of people are hurting. And the people that we step and the people that we look at every day, so many people people are stepping over, you know, every day, you know, he is not giving us the spirit of fear, but the power of love and sound mind, you know, even with the poor, the Bible said that, uh, Christ said, he said the poor was always going to be among us, and when we help the poor, don't you know that pleases the Father, don't you know that pleases, God is pleased with that, because we, because we are helping people that's in need. You know, we're not being greedy. we giving to other people. You know. Like I said, even in our own environment, I'm talking about outside of the building. Outside of the church building. I don't know, like I said, how do we act outside of the church building? When we around people, do we stop being, you know, Christ-like when we leave church? You know? Because when we get out there, that's where it counts at. When we get out into the world, when we get around people, that's when we got to really let our light shine. So that's how you draw people, you know. But because of the spirit of fear, I'm dealing with most most of us. We get we kind of scared that, you know, and and we just start you know start conversations about that because, you know, people might. You know, think, you know, think you crazy or something like that. But, but people are gonna be like that, man. We we've got to keep pressing on. We gotta keep. We gotta spread the gospel, man. Because we're living in the last days, and a whole lot of things are happening, y'all. I don't know. You, look, you if you look at the news, we look at what's going on. Come on now, children killing their parents. People just killing people for no reason, and just people, it's, it's just getting worse. The Bible told you man was going to wax. For evil men and seducers, they were going to, impossible was going to wax worse and worse. You know, but not just not jump off and all that. The spirit of fear, man. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Like I said, I'm praying for all my friends. If they look at this, I'm praying. If they ever see it, I'm praying for you. You know, you may be kind of shocked, but I'm, I'm, I just want you to know I'm praying for you. I'm praying for people, at, you know, in these colleges. I'm praying for people in the church building that they get delivered from just being a church folk and start really living for Christ and start spreading the gospel and start walking in truth and get them a relationship. I'm praying, you know, I'm praying for... Um, you know, I'm praying for my family, I'm praying for my friends, I'm praying for people all over the world that they get saved. Man. Man, but like I say, it's more than just praying, like faith without work. We got to go out there and spread, spread it, man. If, you know, we had a spirit of fear, man. Have we had the opportunity to spread the gospel? You know, but we, you know, we, how can I say it? We, we, um, uh, we brushed it off, like, nah, 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 but see, when people come up to you and they ask you, 
Why do you act this way? You know, why are you acting like this? You know, you not like everybody else. You know, it's something unique about you. Well, I just need to know what it is. You know, what do we say? Do we say, oh, I'm just a good person, you know? You know, I'm just a good person. You know, I don't know. I'm just, I must be unique. I must be different from everybody. And they ask you what it is. What do you say? Do you just, do you like cow down? Or do you like actually tell them? I'm, you know, I follow Christ. It's the Christ in me. And that's where it starts. You gotta understand, people, a lot of people are not gonna receive what you say, man. Like I said, everybody didn't receive Christ. So everybody's not gonna receive you. Don't expect that to happen, but. But, when, um. Like I said, some received, some rejected him. But he continued on, man. And once again, with the whole time, all the sin, God is not giving us a spirit of fear. We cannot be ashamed. We cannot be afraid to. To tell people why we are the way that we are, man. That's the whole point of us being uh, believers. Helping people to seek Christ so that they can be delivered, man. At least not be delivered, but to... But how can I say it? How can I say it? When we start telling about Christ, if they're being called by God, and they start... then that's when we start talking to people, you know. You know, if they have the ears to hear, let me say, if they have the ears to hear it, that's how you draw people in. You know, some people, like I said, some people are not going to receive it. They don't receive it. Shake dust off if you move on. You know. But we have to be witnesses, man. We got to be witnesses. I'm working on it. I haven't gotten there all the way. But I'm praying for God to remove, you know, anything in me that's keeping me from that and remove all fear. You know what people may think you know and that's another thing that's keep that keep us up hold up to keep us back you know? what people may think what our family members may think what my friends may think man we cannot be ashamed we cannot be scared we got to go out here and, and proclaim truth in these end times man we got to go out here and spread the word everybody's not going to understand it people are not going to understand it but how can I say how can I say this? Help me, Holy Spirit. We gotta keep pressing on anyway. Because everybody doesn't have like everybody's not gonna receive everybody's not gonna receive you once again. Some gonna receive you, some gonna reject you, but we gotta keep pressing on regardless, y'all. God has not given us the spirit of fear. He has not given us the spirit of fear, y'all. You know. So Just the next time, just be real. Full tell them, you know, and if they don't receive, to receive you, so be it, you know. If they if they, if they have an ear to hear, they will hear. And then that's how you start ministering to people, like I said, whether, if, whether you're doing it through YouTube or you're doing it through, you know, out there in, in the world. We have to show people the light. That's how, that's how we draw people. I see that's how we draw and, and the people who's hurting the ones who need that they, they're gonna they're gonna know. You know. They're gonna know. And they're gonna come to you for, for our answers. A lot of a lot of us man, miss a chance. I know a whole lot of times I have missed a chance. But I'm I'm working on it. I'm sure all of us are working on it, y'all. But we have to we have to be the light in the darkness. We live in a dark world. And when we go out into the world, when we go out, you know, in our, uh, carry on our everyday lives, uh, everyday activities, we got to show that light. We have to be the light for people, man. God has not given us the spirit of fear. So with that being said, I'm going to go out and get out. I hope everybody's day is going good. And hope y'all are doing well once again. So I say peace. May God bless you. And may God keep you. Peace. And remain blessed.